Alrighty guys, so what's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can see the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be reviewing a Raves E190. So, let's get around to today's video. Alrighty guys, and like always, we're going to be starting off with the exterior first. Now, um, of course, the nose looks really, really nice, as you guys can see. It has like a lot of decals on it, and it just looks really, really nice overall. But of course, we gotta take a look at these gears. Now, these gears, it's a little dark, uh, just because of like the lighting and stuff, which I really do like the lighting. It's like really cool and really realistic and stuff. Uh, but from what I can tell, these gears are very, very, very realistic. And then, uh, same with the back ones over here. There's like a lot of like detailed work put into them. And then the other gear right over here, um, it looks really, really nice, as you guys can see. Um, and then and the windows also look really, really nice as well. And then the little doors also look really, really nice. Um, and then uh, the engines also look really, really nice. I love the like variety of color and all just all the like decals and stuff that has been put onto the engines. And then the other engine over here also looks amazing, as you guys can see. And then uh, the wings also look amazing, as you guys can see. There's like a lot of like just detail and um, hard, hard work put it put into this uh, wing or. And then the uh, tail back here also looks really, really nice, as you guys can see. Um, and then I think that is all for the exterior. Um, I might be mistaken. And then what is... Uh, so, I don't know what this is. It's like just like a random decal. Um, I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> Let me know what that is down in the comments down below. Because I am uh, genuinely stumped on what that is. But I do believe that is all for the exterior of this plane. Now let's go and take a look at the interior of this plane. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we now have to look at the interior of this plane, and as you guys can see, this interior just looks amazing. So, um, when you walk in, which is through this door, um, you can, so this is what you see when you first walk in. There's like a really detailed, uh, exit door right here, and then over here we have some, like, um, FA, uh, carts, and just a station, like, the drinks and food, I assume. And then over here we have an FA seat, and then some, uh, fire hide, what are they called? They're fire, fire hydrants. No, that's not what they're. Fire extinguishers. Got it. <laughs> um, and then if we go into the cockpit, holy smokes. Okay, if I can get my camera, that'd be good. So um, one interesting thing is, well, there are no seats. That's a bit strange, but the cockpit does look really, really nice. As you guys can see, um, it like all the the yoke um, and all the other stuff looks really, really nice. I'm just like kind of stumped again why there isn't like any seats in the cockpit whatsoever that's a bit um strange um but then if we go out here we have some curtains uh that leads us into the main cabin and i really like the window and dents on this plane it looks really, really nice because you guys know i really do like those and then the overhead bins also look really, really nice as you can see and then i really do like the um pattern on the uh roof that looks really, really nice and then we have some more um, curtains right here, and then we have a lavatory, which, um, it does have a toilet. It's a bit interestingly, um, arranged. I, so this is the toilet, but the toilet is also in the sink. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hard, I'm having a hard time figure out what exactly I'm looking at. Um, and then if we go over here, which, let me, let me go ahead and get back in. We have another station to make the food and drinks for the, um, uh, first, our flight attendants. And I think that is all for the interior and exterior of this plane. Now let's go and take a look at the functionalities of this plane. Alrighty guys, so we are now to look at the uh, functionalities of this plane and like always, we are going to be starting off with uh, the plane kit. So let me go ahead and get inside the plane. And one thing I would like to say is the scaling is a bit interesting. I don't know if my character is just really tall or if the plane is just scaled really small. But like my uh, fedora literally goes into the overhead bins. So that's a bit um, interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and go into the uh, plane kit. And it looks like it is the uh, Zingtech plane kit. Now, um, if you don't know what Zingtech is, it was like a really cool um, tech group that made like a lot of uh, technology products like self check in, obviously, plane kit, um, a lot of other things. But they did shut down a while ago. But I, di I do think that they are starting up sometime soon again, which is pretty, pretty cool. But um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, overview of the plane kit because it's not. It is really cool. It's, I like it better than CM32, obviously, because literally a lot of things can be better than CM32. Um, but so basically, uh, there's anchor mode and then there's uh, cruise mode. And then uh, I believe, oh, and I, okay, never mind. And then you can unlock your camera. And then I really think that's it. Um, 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's not really that much of, it's really a basic plane kit, and I have just glitched out the plane. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, no, never mind. Um, so yeah, that's really it for the, uh, plane kit, um, aspect of this, uh, plane. So now let's go take a look at the first officer GY. So first officer GY is actually, it's the same exact one because, um, if you don't know, uh, a few weeks ago, I actually reviewed Vivian's, uh, caravan. So be sure to watch if you haven't already. Very, very cool Rammer episode. Um, and if you did, then you will definitely recognize, uh, this first officer GY. So if I go ahead and move me over here, um, so you guys can see, so the hydraulics, so we have, uh, flaps, which let me go ahead and put uh, flaps down. So we have flaps five, and then we have flaps 10, flaps 15, oops, 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 flaps, flaps 15, and then uh, flaps 45. And then you can go ahead and put them up um, like so. And then uh, next we have ignition. So let me go ahead and get my camera in place and I'm gonna do a quick time lapse as always. Alrighty guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy that quick time lapse. Sorry, I I realized mid time lapse that you couldn't really see the engines that well. I'll try to fix it up in the editing stage or something like that. So then after that we have the uh, spoilers, which um, go ahead and activate those, which are uh, those right there, and then the reverse thrust is also in it. Which actually look at that. So when they uh, when the engines open up and the reverse thrust, you can actually see there's like a lot of details in the engines, and it looked really really nice. Um, and then if we go ahead and put the spoilers up, um, and then we also have the gears. So let me go ahead and put them up, which is not a very good idea to put them up when you're on the ground just a quick FYI um, but they, the animation does look really really smooth I do like that a lot and then uh, we can go ahead and put them down again as so Alrighty guys, so uh, sorry about that. Um, I hope it started stopped recording for some reason. Um, I'm not completely sure why. Um, but so um, as I was saying, so the lights. So we have the strobe lights, which are those uh, white ones at either side of the wingtip, and then we have the taxi light, uh, which is actually blue. Which I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just like the lighting in this airport. Uh, but as you guys know, I really do like blue a lot. So I really do like that a lot. Um, then we have landing lights, which is also blue, as you guys can see right there, which also looks really really nice. But um, I just I thought every um, plane had always had white landing lights, but this one has gr uh, blue for some reason. Uh, but that's I, I like I do like that a lot. But I don't know how that is if that is how it is IRL. If that makes sense. Um, then we have navigation lights, which are those lights right there. And then uh, last but not least, we do have beacon lights, which is the uh, one up on top of the plane right there. And then we also do have debug. If you actually need to know what that is, um, I do not know what the heck it is or what the heck I'm looking at. I'm looking at a bunch of numbers with V's uh, but other than that I don't know what the heck I'm looking at so I'm just going to take I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off uh, but yeah um, that is it for the interior exterior uh, plane kit and FOGY on this plane now let's go and take a look at the price of this plane Alrighty guys, so I'm now um go on the official um Vivens Roblox hub because this is where you can buy products. And one thing I would like to say before we do check out the price of this plane is I really like how this hub is completely custom. I have never seen this type of hub layout anywhere else. Um, and it just looks really, really nice, as you guys can see. And they also sell in uh, Shopee, so we're going, we are going to take a look at that after we take a look at the Robux price. So the Robux price is 1,500 Robux and uh, $12 via their Shopee. Um, so I, I think 1,500 Robux is one really good price because I. Honestly, I was expecting it to be like 2,000 Robux or something just because of how planes are priced today in the Roviation community. Um, but 1,500 Robux, considering you get a really detailed exterior, interior, and you get a fully functional plane kit and a fully functional FOGY, that is just an amazing price and you cannot beat that. And $12 via uh, PayPal um, is also a really, really, really good price. Um, so yeah, that is the price of this plane. And I think that's going to end off today's Rammer episode. But yeah guys, this is going to wrap up today's review on my review on Raves E190. If you guys enjoyed today's video, as always, be sure to hit that red subscribe button under today's video uh, because we're on the road to 600 subscribers and we are so, so, so close. Um, so subscribing will help me out a lot. And be sure to leave a like because I hope that channel lots of you guys are enjoying the content I see here on the channel. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions on future products I should review. And thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Listen.